Today, we're gonna to be talking about white balance and how it can actually improve the quality of your video. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to set your custom white balance in your camera using a gray card. Let's get into it. You gotta just press record. Hey, I'm Nolan Moult with Think Media. And before we get into this video all about white balance, I want to kind of explain to you guys what white balance is and why it's so important for your videos. Now, in simple terms, setting your white balance tells your camera exactly what colors are accurate. So your reds are gonna be red, your blues, blue, your greens are green, and whites are white. That's why it's called white balance. So if you wanna get accurate colors when filming your videos, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your white balance is set correctly. So we're outside now and we've set our white balance to cloudy and you can see that the colors look really good, really natural. And now that I've changed it to tungsten, you can see that the colors just don't look natural. There's a crazy blue tint going on. This is why you need to set the correct white balance. Now your cameras have some presets for white balance. And so if we look in this uh, Canon menu, we can see that it has some for daylight. We can see that there is one for shade. There's one for cloudy and there's tungsten light. Now these are all just set to different Kelvin temperatures. So daylight is actually set to 5200 Kelvin and cloudy right here is set to 6000 Kelvin. Tungsten light bulbs, which is often the lamps in your home, that is sent to 3200 Kelvin. So these presets make it really easy for you to click on what lighting you're in and the camera will automatically adjust to that. Now this doesn't work 100% of the time because if you're using LED lights, sometimes when they say 5200 Kelvin on the back of the LED light, sometimes there's a pink hue or a green hue and they're not 100% accurate. And that's exactly why you would set a custom white balance using a gray card. Even if you're filming outside, sometimes the daylight preset isn't 100% accurate because if you're shooting in the morning or at noon or at sunset, the color is actually really different throughout all those times. And so cameras just set the preset to 5200 because that's a great kind of middle balance for shooting in the daylight. It'll work most of the time, but again, using a gray card will get 100% accurate colors. So you might say, hey Nolan, why don't I just use the automatic white balance on the camera? Well, the simple answer is that when you're filming with auto white balance, the white balance can change during your shot while you're recording and you do not want that. So that's why I always recommend people to use a manual or custom white balance setting. A quick power tip for you guys is to set your white balance last. The reason you wanna do this is because when you're setting up your lights, you might use diffusers, uh, you might bounce the light off a wall or maybe it's coming through some curtains and all those things that the light are passing through or bouncing off of are going to affect the color temperature. All right, we're gonna get into the tutorial and I'm gonna show you how to set a custom white balance specifically on a Sony camera and a Canon camera, but really these things are going to apply to most cameras on the market. But first, give this video a thumbs up and in the comments below, if you use a gray card, I want you to comment yes, and if you don't use a gray card, comment no. And if you don't have a gray card, there is a link in the description where you can pick one up. And you are gonna need this gray card in order to set your custom white balance. All right, so first we're gonna set a custom white balance on the Canon 90D and the first thing you actually need to do is take a photo where that main light source is coming in. You want that main light source to hit your gray card. So Tony holds up the gray card. We're gonna snap a photo right here and we got a good photo. So we're gonna head into the menu system and go over to white balance and select custom white balance right there. All right, so you can see it's using the last photo that we took, which is perfect. And it's gonna use that photo to set the custom white balance. And so here we can see that it set white balance to, and that little icon there is the custom white balance. So now we need to go back into movie mode. And then what we're gonna do is hit the Q. And uh, if we hit the K here, this is where our white balance options are. And you see that icon again for custom white balance. You wanna make sure that is selected. And there we go, we have our custom white balance set. Tony looks great, the colors look great. Now everything is gonna be accurate. All right, so now we're gonna use the Sony camera and we're using a Sony a6500 for this, but uh, most Sony cameras, it's gonna be the same exact way to do this. So first we are going to hit the menu button and on the 11th page over we see white balance. So if we select that, we can see that incandescent is selected causing a major blue shift to this image. So we're gonna to wanna to change this by scrolling all the way down to custom setup. Now that we're over it, we'll hit the center button and we see that it says to click the center button again to capture data of central area of screen. 
So with the gray card in the center of the screen with that light coming in on the gray card, we hit the center button and boom, it's set. So now we can back out, go into our movie mode and we can see that the colors look good and everything is accurate. That's it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.